So my answer to the the first part of the question of, around the importance of celebrating accomplishments is yes, it is absolutely important. And then the piece I would add to that is, I am not the best person to teach you how to celebrate those accomplishments or how to foster that practice because uh, the honest answer is I'm still figuring that out for myself. So I'm not going to spend too much time there and pretend I can teach you that because I can't. That's not my brilliance. <laughs> There's other people who are good at that and, um, and we can all learn from them. If we go to the second part of the question though around asking the question, well does this mean that endings are necessary? It absolutely does. And this piece I know deeply, not just intellectually, but from my own experience, from the very deep ways that I live my life and I intentionally design my own life and the way that I show up, the way I think about and act. So there is absolutely a need for us to accept that even in something like we might use a word like our calling or our purpose even in those things there are goodbyes in that within that there are times where we need to move on and it is absolutely a critical piece for us as leaders to understand that whether it is in our life, in our business, in any component, there are chapters or seasons. And in that cycle, we will have endings, we will have new beginnings, new chapters. And in order to create space for the new, in order to step into something different. We often do need to say goodbye or end a previous chapter. And that will look different in different settings or for each of us. The piece that I think is important when thinking about the kind of idea of, of endings is if we bring it back to a leadership perspective. I want to remind you about the situational components and the ability for you to look at the context you are in, the people you are working with, the stage your organisation is at, all of the, the factors that play into deciding what is being asked of you in any given situation. And if you know that in order to step fully into a new strategy or a new phase of development for your company, so if you know that there are ways that you operated previously that will no longer serve you, or people on your team that were a great fit for the phase or chapter you were in before, but that no longer are the right fit for where your organisation is going. If you realise, and this one can be more difficult because it's about you, if you realise that your skill set as a leader was the right skill set for the previous phase of the business, but it is no longer the type or style of leadership that your organisation needs moving forward then that might be something that is calling for an ending and for bringing in fresh, different skills, leadership, management into the organisation. It is critical for us to accept, embrace and learn to have those conversations and to be brave enough to end things when they need to end. 